When you think of hawks, you probably picture them in wide open spaces, but the raptors have gone urban. And there's a challenge when birds and people get close. Some hawks are aggressive when they have babies in the nest. Now there's a big study going on in Albuquerque that's looking at the issue. News 13's Gianna Salceda is here to explain. Well, Kim, the birds being looked at are the Cooper's hawks, and they are nesting right now in trees all over the city. These hawks are also the birds seen dive bombing people at this time of year. This is a Cooper's hawk, and it is the focus of a study by the New Mexico Department of Game and Fish and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Biologists are looking at the birds' aggression toward people during their nesting season. There are a lot more urban hawks than you might think. In our study area, which was pretty much the northeast quadrant of the city, we have 60 pairs of nesting Cooper's hawks. There are also Swainson's hawks, western screech owls, kestrels, and great horns in the city. The first part of the study requires catching the coopers, and that puts a rehabilitated great horned owl named Eve to work. Horned owls are the enemy of the coopers' hawk, so Eve is put on a perch and an invisible net is set up. The coopers are captured, put in a can to calm them down, and then banded. The hawks play an important role in urban ecology. And they really are fantastic for. Uh, rodent control, pigeon and dove control. During their nesting time, Cooper's hawks can be very aggressive. We average about 20 calls a year on, in the city of Albuquerque, people complaining about nuisance hawks. Almost always Cooper's hawks. So what if you happen to have a Cooper's hawk nest near your home and you know those birds to be aggressive? What can you do to protect yourself? Well, get yourself an umbrella. They don't see you as a threat. Now, the aggression will stop once the babies are out of the nest. Here's how the chicks look. When they're ready to fly, they'll be fitted with tiny bird backpacks. You can hardly see the tracking device made of Teflon straps that fit right under the bird's feathers. It has a tiny transmitter on board. That will help biologists learn more about nesting, survival rates, and diseases in the birds, as well as migration. Interestingly, Albuquerque's Cooper's hawks like it here. They don't migrate, but stay year-round. And those chicks will be ready to fly and get those tracking backpacks sometime next month. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Deanna. Now, the data that's gathered will help scientists learn more about other raptors, such as bald and golden eagles.